Hey everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC and yes, today we'll be unboxing one of the most exciting things that I have ever unboxed, which is the AMD Ryzen R7 1700X. Not that this processor is any special in the packaging, I mean it looks pretty cool, but it's about the CPU itself. This is AMD's brand new Ryzen processor and this is really exciting since it's the first time we have competition from AMD in what like four or five years I think so yeah everyone's is pretty hype uh, everyone is pretty hyped about this processor and a lot of reviewers have already got their hands and benchmarked it and I've only gotten it now since someone is doing uh, buying a build from me so this is gonna be interesting I'll be testing this processor for sure also testing the PC build that I'm going to do and I'll show you the build when it's done as well so here it is let's just unbox this processor first so the CPU itself is on the side in a tiny window as usual Ryzen on there and also on the back of the box itself there are the specifications I guess you gotta call them it's just uh, it's mostly just uh, some words regarding what's inside so this 1700x doesn't include any heatsink inside since this is an X series which means it has XFR or extended frequency range and what that means is that you're supposed to use a better cooler so that the CPU can kind of boost itself higher so that's the reason AMD doesn't include any uh, stock cooler on this although it would be nice if they did but they didn't so I mean it's it's a it's fine but it makes the box unusually uh, empty and it's kind of a waste of cardboard in my opinion not very eco-friendly when you're not actually using the space for anything so yeah but anyways part of the PC building experience is the box and usually I keep the boxes uh, as in you know for my PC builds if they don't want the box since they look cool and the box is part of the deal when you buy parts you're actually getting the box you're actually paying for the box as well so I think the box shouldn't be thrown away in PC builds PC parts anyway since it's also useful for selling things so I don't really mind the big box actually so here it is the only thing inside is the processor in a smaller box I guess and um, the AMD Ryzen sticker which I think is pretty neat so yeah let's let's open it up and take a look aha uh -huh, uh, installation instructions and also the CPU itself and wow this is the first time I'm, I've actually uh, like held an AMD Ryzen processor I've been wanting it for my system but I don't really see a need for it well this guy he actually does some video 4k rendering and editing so the CPU shall do very good in his uh, usage scenario so yeah here it is basically the CPU itself is just like this IHS and I do like that now AMD puts some actual like model name on their CPUs and also a nice AMD and Ryzen logo where pre previously AMD only says like the series name and not the actual model of the CPU so it gets confusing when you may have a few of them at hand so you don't know which one is which and yeah so this is really nice of them and also on the bottom itself and uh, there are the pins unlike Intel's LGA socket the pins are on the CPU instead of on the motherboard and they're actually much more uh, durable and stronger than Intel's pins which will definitely break if I do this although I don't recommend touching it either but it's fine so yeah that's it for this AMD Ryzen R7 1700X CPU unboxing uh, yeah so I guess all there is to do is that 
you building the computer and testing it out and showing uh, you guys the performance I will probably also uh, oops I'll probably also try uh, I guess testing the, the CPU it one CCX disabled since apparently the CCX connection is really slow and in games where the data is moved through between CCXs apparently that's what's causing the uh, lower than expected gaming performance uh, although in my opinion you know people shouldn't buy AMD Ryzen CPUs for just purely gaming anyway since it's mostly a productivity oriented CPU with many cores its direct uh, competitor is basically the A Intel Broadwell E processors which are also productivity uh, in mine so those things also lose to the Intel 7700K so I don't know what's all the fuss about AMD Ryzen losing to that and people calling it bad at gaming since this is basically the same performance as the Bartle E parts from Intel. So yeah, I think it's a pretty successful launch for AMD in my opinion, but I don't know, some people may have other opinions. Maybe they want this for gaming, then in that case they should wait for the R5 with the quad cores, which hopefully only has one CCX. But yeah, that's it for this unboxing. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please leave a like and subscribe to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.